I'm Stephanie Jerky, and I am a researcher, a mother, and a wife. Uh, my father was a very smart man, and um, he had to start working very young because he lost his parents. He um, got specialized into building medical laboratories, and he always wanted a, a son, but he got three daughters. And I, had, I was the third one. I think I was the son he never had. So I was always going to his, um, uh, working with him uh, because he was self-employed. And I was always going in the, to, during the weekend helping him. So I got involved uh, in uh, these medical laboratories and I saw all this researcher around working. And I think it's like that that I got uh, interested in to research and maybe that's why I got passionate even. But all this was because of my father. Cystinosis is a metabolic disease. This is what we call a multisystemic disease where all the organs are touched, you know, the eyes, um, the brain, the kidney, the muscle, they become diabetic, um, everything you can imagine, you know, they will eventually develop. So that's why it's a terrible disease. An amazing change for uh, the patient was the introduction of cystagon, the cysteamine. This delays the progression of the disease and now the, you know, the, the patient can live longer, but again, this is not a cure. What gives us hope is uh, the work we are doing in the mouse model of cystinosis. We try to um, use the stem cell as a vehicle to bring a functional gene to every tissue in the mice. But to be able to target all the tissue in the body, you need a vehicle. And the great thing about the stem cell is that they are programmed to target every tissue or every injury in your body and fix it. The results in the mice are amazing. I mean, it's, it's beyond our expectation. The, the cysteine completely dropped after four months only of transplantation and the tissues are preserved, including the kidney in the mice. I think these results give a, a tremendous hope for the patient, because if by chance the patient reacts the same way than the mice, if we get the same results, this means that this is potentially a cure. Again, I think we have to be careful, but I think it's time for hope. When I think as a mother uh, about these children that are sick, about all these families who fight for their children, for them to, to not suffer too much or to live longer, um, it affects me a lot and I really want to do my best. Not only because to find a cure would be very important for um, cystinosis, but also for the patient themselves, because now it's a, you know, a personal fight, and um, it would be amazing if one day I would be able to tell them that we have a new treatment for this terrible disease, and to tell them that they could be live, they could live a life without this disease. That would be amazing. <laughs>